so I wanted to try something a little different with this video. There may be a widely praised movie that you just despise, or a dish you enjoy that makes your friends gag. But it also doesn't have to be that extreme. No two people are alike. Whether it be food, music, movies, anime, it's only natural for interests to vary. Staying in my wheelhouse for now though, I want to take a look at different series whether beloved, hated, or meh, and break apart exactly why I think someone could enjoy it. First up, the delightful slice of life comedy anime, New Game. Right out of the gate, an obvious reason why people watch and enjoy this show is because of how freaking cute it is. Everything from the OP, where our main cast lip syncs the song, to the color palette, which is so sweet, I think the show needs to add a blood sugar warning at the beginning. Seriously, Willy Wonka wishes his products were this candy coated. Yes, by all accounts, New Game is downright adorable. But what's beyond this outer layer? Well, as cute as this show is, I think people also enjoy the wide range of cute found within the game company. Whether you enjoy characters that are shy, outgoing, assertive, responsible, pantsless, masochistic, whatever your preference is, they serve all kinds at Eagle Jump. And while the character development is nothing exceptional, these differences between the staff, however slight, are enough to keep interactions and situations interesting as well as compelling. New Game does tend to lean on these strengths though, because for a series centered around a game company, they don't delve too deep into the more logistical side or stresses of the profession. Aside from things like pulling all-nighters to finish work or the occasional reprimand, it's a largely consequence-free environment. But that is to be expected from a primarily comedic slice of life show. Really, if there is deeper meaning to be found in watching New Game, it's in the idea of becoming a functioning adult and what that means. Alba is pursuing her dream by getting a job at Eagle Jump right out of high school, and while she's incredibly excited to do so, New Game portrays her journey in a pretty realistic light. She's the only new hire at the company, something she is understandably nervous about. It would be like coming into college as the only freshman while everyone else is at least a sophomore. Yeah, that'd be enough to worry anybody. So it's definitely not all fun and games. Okay, well, it's kinda games, but you know what I mean. It shows that even if something is your dream job, even if you love it, there are still going to be hard days, boring days, and even ones where the stress gets to you. At the same time though, it is a little reassuring when the show explains that mistakes, big or small, aren't always the end of the world. And I think this duality is also presented well through our cast of characters, most of whom are in their 20s and are functioning members of the workforce. This doesn't mean though that they just roll over and accept the doldrums often associated with that stage in their life. Characters still have their individual passions and even goof off on occasion. As someone smack dab in the middle of this demographic, it's this part of New Game in particular that resonates with me whenever I watch it. Being an adult even now can feel like somewhat of a foreign concept. This idea that one day you'll just get out of bed and be grown up isn't a thing that happens. I think for viewers, New Game reinforces this, but it also assures us that this mundane state we've come to associate with adulthood isn't necessary to be a functional human being in the working world. You don't always need to take things seriously, and it's okay to have fun now and again. So while not especially complex at first glance, these are some things I felt when I was watching this show for the first time. Beyond these points though, I can't think at least off the top of my head for many other reasons why people might enjoy New Game. I think there was something I was forgetting, but ah, you know what, it's, it's probably not important. Yeah, definitely not. But if you guys think you know what it is, feel free to let me know. And in general, what do you guys think of this series? Have you watched New Game? If so, do you enjoy it for the same reasons, or are you drawn in by something else? I want to try and be objective with these kind of videos while still adding my own take, so I'd love to get your opinion. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the first installment of this series I'm thinking about calling Why People Blank, where I plan to explore why people enjoy or dislike certain anime, games, and the like, so you can leave suggestions for future installments down below. But as always, feel free to leave a like if you were entertained by this video, you can click on the left to subscribe, the right if you want to support my work on Patreon, and the middle if you want to watch more of my content. Stay awesome, and I'll see you next time.